taste and welcome back to Mario and Animatronic Horror, The Nightmare Begins Chapter 3. We left off last time with Captain Foxy ordering me to work with this balloon puke maggot downstairs cleaning some cannons. And this is where we're going to continue from. Here we go. <sighs> cannons are down these stairs behind this door. Okay. There we go. Oh, look at us walking. <laughs> so you're friends with Foxy? Yeah, what's it to ya? Uh-oh. Do you like working with him and being bossed around like a slave? Actually, he treats me with the most respect on this ship. Oh, that's because you're a little evil thing, aren't you? <laughs> Are you mocking me? Oh, no, 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 not at all. I'm not a slave like you, you little maggot. Hey, that's my line. You're the maggot. Along with that bratty girl, Tiffany. She's been a real nuisance since Foxy picked her up. He should just kill her already. Oh, I think he's jealous. Hey, she's just a little girl. And I'm a little boy, and I don't care. Now, let's go. Ooh. See, I don't like him. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, oh he pushed me down the stairs, that little punk. Oh, I'm okay, though. Oh, what a fall. I hope you enjoyed your fall, fat man. <gasps> hey, I'm not fat. That's a bit rude, you know. No one will be Foxy's best friend besides me. And you're trying to steal that from me. I knew it. He's jealous. Wait, I'm not trying to. Shut up. They all tried to be his friend, but not today. You're crazy. I don't even want to be his friend. You're a liar. Oh. I gotta do something. If I don't act fast, he'll kill me. And if I don't do what Foxy wants, he'll kill me too. I gotta use something to clean the cannons fast so I can use one of them for self-defense. The cannon broom. This should work. Oh, I get to save it. BB can't see you in the dark. He is blind in the darkness. Each time you repair a cannon, it won't restart you. Remember to keep your distance away from Balloon Boy for when he's around. You gotta repair each cannon. You only have an amount of time before BB gets you. Oh no! Ah oh, crap, okay, here we go. Okay, there's a cannon over here. Okay, shh, 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 shh. Quiet, quiet. <laughs> come on, come on! Fix it! Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, okay go away, go away. Okay, let's go over here. Over here, do this one, do this one. Oh, look at him! He's hunting me down! Come on! Okay, go over here. Go over here. Come on. I don't see a timer. He's going to get me. Oh, oh, he's getting close. Get close. Get close. Okay, go over here. Go over here. Quick, quick, quick. Get it. Oh, look at him. Coming to get you, Mario. Go. Did I do it? Oh, done. Now can I shoot him? I finally found you. Shoot him. Shoot him with a cannon. Ha 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 there we go! Fire! Ooh, yes! That was the most gratifying thing yet! Oh, oh, thank God! Oh, yes! Ha 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 ha! He's nothing but a pile of goo! <laughs> Burn in hell, you monster! That's right! That's right! Oh, now what? Do I go back and talk to Foxy? Okay, let's go back and talk to Foxy. Up we go. There. I hope he doesn't find out. I <laughs> pulverize the little maggot. <laughs> okay, let's go back out and we'll talk to Foxy. <sighs> that was awesome. Oh, Foxy. So I see a take of your job. Yeah? I also heard one of my cannons shoot from below. Was that your doing? Well, I... Well... And where's Balloon Boy? He's dead, and I had no choice. He was going to kill me. I'm actually telling the truth. <gasps> Mate? Good job. What? He liked it. What? I've been trying to get rid of that little runt for a while. And now he's dead. It's going to make things easier. I thought he was your friend. Nah, only this captain doesn't need friends. I only need slaves to do my bidding. Ooh. 
He's more insane than the kid was. Oh, yeah, he is. Foxy! So what do I do now? You're done for today, mate! Good! Oh, oh, I don't look happy about it, though. Now what? Oh, do I get out of here? Okay. Oh, no! That's Lorenzo. That's my uncle. What's he doing here? Oh, hi, uncle! So have you found out a way to escape? Or are you going to stay here for the rest of your life? From the looks of it, it's kind of hard to escape this place. Foxy is always watching. This isn't like my nightmares, though. This one is lasting longer. I suggest you come up with a better plan to escape this place. I tried looking around, but something always keeps interrupting me. Hmm. Maybe you should talk to Tiffany. She might know a way out. Where is she now? In the same cell as you were. You two share a room. Why do you think there's two beds in there? <gasps> I haven't given much notice, but I'll try. <sighs> okay, let's go back in here. <sighs> Tiffany? Maybe Tiffany can help me. Well, there she is. Tiffany, help me, please. Hi, Tiffany. Oh, hello, Mr. Mario. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Why do you ask? I need some help with something. Sure. What is it? Um... Is there any way I could escape the ship without Foxy noticing me? I don't think that's a good idea. He might get mad. Oh. He gets real scary when he's mad. Question. How long have you been here for? For about two years. <gasps> two years? Oh my gosh. Your family must miss you a lot. Uh oh. Oh, man, this is going to be sad, isn't it? Whoa, whoa, I didn't mean to make you upset. It's fine. Um, I've been here for so long. It seemed longer than two years. Has your family tried to look for you or tried to help them? What happened to you? Last thing I remember two years ago, Foxy came to our house and broke a lot of stuff and hurt my mommy and daddy. Oh, wow, I... I, I didn't know! And I heard my big sister scream, and then things went silent, and a slice sound. I don't know what happened to her. Oh, Foxy ripped her up. <gasps> and then Foxy dragged me to a ship by my hair. He was mean to me for about two years, but as time went by, he went easier on me. All I had to do was not make him mad. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tiffany. That monster deserves to pay! Um, but he promised me one day that he might bring me back. He's lying to you, Tiffany. Really? Maybe, but if you want to leave here so badly, I can tell you a way to leave. Oh, please do. Please! Mr. Foxy always leaves the key in his office to open the lower level, and you can use the boat to row back to shore. Maybe if I try this, I can find a way home and out of this nightmare. Maybe you could come with me. But, Mr. Foxy, he... The last time I tried to leave, he hurt me real bad. And I don't want to go through that again. Oh. He did what? No, you're coming with me. I can't leave a little girl like you here. He's just an abusive monster. I'm sorry, Mr. Mario, but I can't. Mr. Foxy is the only way to bring me home. He knows the way, and I don't. And as much as I want to leave, I can't. Okay then, if that's your choice, I'm willing to help you when you're ready. I suggest not trying tonight to steal his key. I would recommend trying to get it when he's not around. Is there anything or anyone else in my way when I try to? Yes, the fox monster does. <gasps> fox monster? Are you referring to Foxy? No, he or she or whatever it is, is white and pink. <gasps> Mango. It's always sticking out, and it's metal-looking things. Oh, my God. Now, that is a monster, all right. I think I can come up with a plan tonight, but I'll tell you in the morning when it's feeding time. Oh, man. Sounds like a plan. All right, it's the next day. So what's the plan? Well, the first thing you need to do is try not to get caught by you-know-who. Who, Foxy? No, Mario. Mangle. No, that creature I told you about before. All right. Mr. Foxy calls it the mangle. 
M Michael! It will make a loud roaring sound! Goodness! I suggest bringing it its favorite food! What's the food? Please don't say plumber! I don't know. I suggest you find out what Mango likes to feast on so it won't be distracted while you go into Foxy's cabin! Got it! Oh man. Oh, there he is over there. Oh, I have to go talk to him? Oh, Mango, please don't hurt me. Oh! Oh! What's that sound? Ah! Pray for me to feast on! Hold still! I'll make it quick! Uh, no, wait, stop! Then why be here then? I'm new here and I wanted to be friendly and make something for you to, to eat! Oh, what a nice thing for you to do for me. But being a nice person in a place like this could get you killed fast. Oh, I'm aware of that. Uh. So, what are you going to make for me? Well, what do you like? Double hamburger with cheese? I'll let you find that out yourself. Thanks for the big help there. Oh, man, okay. Let's find some stuff. We have to go looking for stuff? What are these things? Oh. Oh. Where's my food? Oh, man. I want my food. Oh, it's it's feeding time on these things. Oh. I'm so hungry, I can eat a whole ship. Oh, okay. Ha, 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 ha. Never mind these things. Let's go in a door. One of these doors has to be where I need to go. In here? It's locked. Okay, try the other one. I don't want to leave yet. Oh, okay. That has to be something else. Sweet flesh, mate. Oh, it is mine. You can't have it. No, no, no. Maybe I have to... Another sweet flesh. Maybe one of these things. Oh, maybe this door. Let's try this door. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's a big kitchen. Okay, we need to find something to give the mango. Okay, check everything. Nothing here. Stove? Oh, I can, I can walk right over the stove. <laughs> That's not good. Nothing here. What's this? Found meat! Oh, okay. Let's go back and see if Mango likes meat. Of course he does. He's a blood-sucking meat eater! Of course he's gonna like this meat! I brought you a gift! Such a sweetheart! Now, allow me to feast! Okay, I should be quick. Oh, he's gone! Good! Now what? Okay, maybe some of the other doors... Oh, that far right door says I wasn't ready to leave yet. I probably can go now. Mangle's gone. Yes. Okay, I'm outside. Now where I have to go? Check these doors. Maybe one of those open now. Locked. Check up here. Oh, I can go in here now! Oh. Go up. Over. Stairs. Okay, there's stairs. Up, up, up. Oh, this is Foxy's room, isn't it? Oh, he has a cool throne! Oh, yeah, look at me. I am the king now. I'm on my throne. Throw Foxy overboard. Okay, let's check this chest. Found lower level key. I found the key. Found it! Now I better get out of here before Foxy finds me. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Go. I found the key. Go, run. Oh, I'm nervous. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go. Go in here. Maybe I can hide it. Maybe I can hide it. Oh, I can't go in here yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can't go there. Do I go back in here? No. I have to go out here. Oh. No, I don't. Oh, no. Where do I go? Oh, no. Oh, I'm in here now. Oh, the boathouse. Why do you keep appearing? I'm a ghost, remember? Sorry. Anyway... So I see you found the boats, by the way. Yeah, I should be able to escape from here with those. Oh, he's worried about Tiffany, isn't he? What's wrong? I feel bad for Tiffany. <gasps> How do you know she's not fake? What? What are you talking about? It could just be an illusion in your head from before. Still, though, I shouldn't just leave her here. Real or not, I need to see if it's the truth. If she's real or not. Mario, you're going to waste this chance for someone you just met? Come on, Mario. No, I'm going to help her no matter what. I'm a hero after all, and heroes protect people. That's right, Mario. 
Well, in this world, heroes don't belong here. Shut up, Lorenzo! I learned it the hard way. <gasps> That's what you think, Uncle, but you haven't been paying attention to me. I've done things you haven't heard of, like stomping the Koopas. <gasps> well, if you're going to waste your chance, it's totally up to you. I'm not stopping you. Good. Oh, Mario is really upset. <gasps> Now what? Ah! Oh, ah, crap. Nightmare Foxy. I know it was you, you little wench! <gasps> Please! It wasn't me! It could have been one of the other crew members! What's going on? It wasn't me, I swear it wasn't! He knows that the key was taken! You little sea devil, I know it was you! You're the one who took my key! I know you were eager enough to try to get it! But I didn't think you were stupid enough to try. It must have been another one of the crew members. You know I wouldn't take it. You're such a bad liar. I know you're helping someone. I'm not an idiot. Do you expect me to be a fool, Tiffany? You think I would care to keep you alive any longer? I can actually kill you right now for fun. Mr. Foxy, please, don't. Okay, I won't kill you, but I'll give you something to remember. Not to try to steal from me again. <gasps> He's going to injure her. What should I do? If I don't do something, he'll hurt Tiffany and maybe me. Defend her or leave her? I can't leave her. I have to defend her. Oh. It was me who took it, you sick freak. <laughs> yeah, Mario, you go. I had a feeling it would probably be you. Mr. Mario, please don't. This is what happens to people who steal from me. Oh, no, I'm dead, aren't I? Oh! Ah! Mr. Mario! Oh, man, no! Oh, I'm still alive! Mr. Mario! Mr. Mario, are you okay? Ow! What happened? Oh, he cut me up good, didn't he? Easy! Mr. Foxy sliced you pretty good! I bet he did. God, does this hurt! Oh, man. There. You should be good now. Tiffany fixed me up. Why did you do that? He could have killed you. He was going to kill you, too. I had to do something. Thanks for saving my life. You're welcome. Oh, I feel good now. Are you going to be all right? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Okay. Well, I got to go. I'll come back later. Bye, Tiffany. See you later. <sighs> I saved her good. No one should be hurting a child like her. That's right. That's right. Okay, let's go visit Foxy now. See if he's going to forgive me. Foxy? Oh. I hope you learned your lesson, you thief. It won't happen again. It better not or else your bloody flesh will be going to the piranhas. Oh. So am I going to get hurt again after this on purpose? Because I stole your darn key? Eh. You have a little bit of fight left in you. By the end of this, it won't be. Huh. What do you have for me this time? I don't know if I can even trust you now that you stole from me. And that scar wasn't the only punishment I planned for you. But I do need someone's help. The others are just weakling cowards. Here's what you have to do, mate. You have to go under the water deep below and find me booty. Oh, me booty. Wait, what? <laughs> you don't get pirate terms much, do you? It means me treasure. Oh, okay. Okay. I know what it means. Plus, I'll drown if I even go in there. <laughs> I already got something prepared for that. You were given oxygen tank and mask. What? Now I have to go swimming in the ocean? And if you're wondering why the water looks so pure and blue, it's because this water wasn't tainted with the people's blood that I killed. <gasps> Foxy. That's actually a good thing. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> but this area will soon be tainted with more blood. And another reason why is because it holds my booty down there. For some reason, energy is reflecting off of it, keeping me and my crew away. Oh, maybe that would be a way for me and Tiffany to get away from them if we use it. So what do you want it for? The treasure is basically keeping me and my crew away. And I need to at least lock it away in my ship so I can taint the rest of the bloody sea. Now, get going. Ooh. Oh, I'm in the water. I got to save it now. Okay. You've got to empty five treasure chests in order to leave the underwater sea. There will be four sharks swimming around. Sharks? 
You got to watch your health bar because when it's empty, you will become the shark's dinner. There's treasure chests scattered across the area. Warning, these sharks are fast. Oh man. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I want to see what happens if I die to the sharks. Look at this. Where are these sharks? These sharks are fast. Oh. Oh, there they are. Oh, okay, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> I'm going to get eaten by sharks. Oh no. Oh no. Here we go. Oh, oh my god he flipped me up and ate me in one chomp okay let's try this again and actually try to get through it oh found jewels and gold good okay those sharks are over oh oh crap oh i can actually run and swim faster here oh good <laughs> oh no i can't believe it sharks sharks go oh look at that he's so close to me i didn't get hit okay uh -oh. oh oh crap now i'm getting hit Get down here. There's nothing down here. Okay. Go away. Go away. Go away. There we go. There we go. I found another chest. Jewels and gold. Good. Perfect. Okay. Let's go around the outside. Oh, there's another chest there. Quick. There you go. Good. Go. Let's go around the outside. Oh! No, 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 Mr. Shark. No, no, no. Go away. Go away. Find another chest. Oh, found that one. Up here. Up here. Over here. There's one. Perfect. Found jewels and gold. Oh, I did it. I did it. Okay, that's all of them. I gotta get out of here. <sighs> Captain, I got the treasure. Now pull me up. Uh oh, please pull me up. Well done, lad. Now grab on. <sighs> oh, I'm back on the ship. Good. Ah, you got my booty. Good work. Yeah, whatever. I see you still be mad. Shut up! You know I am! Oh, okay. Never, ever tell me to shut up. Those who do will die. Oh, what a rude, relentless little scumbag you are. Those who speak foul words in front of me shall never be seen again. Sorry. Get out of me sight, you little troll. Oh, I help him now. He's just telling me to go away. Oh, hello, Mr. Mario. How's your chest? Still hurts, but I'll be all right. Oh, I was slashed in the chest. Okay, that's why you can't see it. I've got my overalls on. All right. You look frightened. Yeah, dealing with sharks underwater is a pretty terrifying experience. Oh, I would guess. Foxy is so selfish and a heartless monster. <sighs> well, I know that from experience from these two years. Well, Foxy says I'm done for today, so what do you want to talk about, Tiffany? I'm not sure. What was your family like? Where do you live? Plans after Foxy returns you? Have you thought about joining my escape? What was your family like? Okay, let's do this. My father was an old elder man, but strong for his age. But he had a nice warm heart. And my mother was a teacher for the villagers' children, while the knights were out doing their jobs. My sister stayed home with me every day, and I played with her a lot. Wait, did she say villagers and knights? Oh, oh my god. That's way in the ancient past. She's been here a lot longer than two years. Villagers and knights. Tiffany, another question. What year do you think it is? Um, well, I don't really keep track of the year, but my father does. But if I have to say, it'll probably be 1500. Uh-oh. Oh my God. She's not from my time. She's been here longer than me and Lorenzo. Way longer than I expected. She's been here hundreds of years. How can I tell her that she's no longer in that time? Has she not realized? Has time really gone by in here that fast? Mr. Mario, are you okay? Oh God, even worse, her family is gone. Now that I think about it. But how is she still a little girl in here? That's the question. The time must be different in here. Or the reality. And it affects the people inside of it. Mr. Mario, hello? Oh God, this is gonna be hard, but I have to. She needs to know or else she'll be thinking she's still in the same time and people are waiting for her when they're gone. Oh. oh. Tiffany, there's something I need to tell you. What is it? Well, it's not the year you think it is. You've been here way longer than you think you have been. The year I came from is 1992. She's been here. 492 years. Tiffany, there's no one home waiting for you because they're gone. 
Foxy has not told you this because he wanted to get your hopes up and watch you suffer. And I'm not playing a joke. This is real. I'm sorry, Tiffany. <sighs> it's kind of funny. I feel like I've always been here longer. And how the way you came here and the way you look, your clothes are different too. And a few times I would always hear Foxy speak about something and cover up when I enter the room. Well, my mommy and daddy are never really going to see me again. Or my sister. Oh, this is so sad. Hey, hey, no tears. We can figure a way around this. Oh. What if I brought you home with me? Me and my brother could look after you. Yeah, that's a good idea. How do I know if I'll die or not in the real world if I step into the reality? Or even have a body to come back to if I leave this nightmare? There's no real hope for me, Mario. You should just leave. Oh. And leave you with a monster around you? No! I get what you're trying to do, Mr. Mario. But let's face it. I can't go. We can find a way. And who knows? You might survive it. Please, just... Just take care of yourself while you're still in your regular time. All right, as you wish, Tiffany. I need you to do something for me before you leave tonight. Mr. Foxy keeps a certain weapon he kept locked away in his office. What are you going to use it for? <laughs> You'll find out. Just say that Foxy won't hurt me no more. What is it? What does it look like? It's a gun thingy. I've never seen guns in person before. Are you sure you want to use a weapon like that on him? Please? He's gonna do it. Okay, I'll go get it. Here, I got the key for his office. Obtain office key. Okay, hang tight. I'll be right back. Oh, she's gonna fight Foxy. She wants the gun to fight Foxy. Okay, go in here. This is his office, right? Yes. Okay, over here. Go up the stairs. There. That weapon should be in the same chest where the key was. Check the chest. I think this is it. Found gun! This looks like an old gun. Tiffany can be able to use it to kill Foxy. Good! And then I can leave! Oh. Okay, here we go. We go back. There we go. Yes! Alright, Tiffany. I got the gun! Thank you. Now I can do this. You're welcome. Well, it was nice talking to you one last time, Tiffany. Be safe when you encounter with Foxy. All right, after I'm done with this, he won't be able to hurt me again. I'm feeling a bit uneasy. Why? Uh-oh. She's going to use the gun on herself, isn't she? No! Oh, no. Please tell me you're going to go kill Foxy. Don't worry, Mama and Papa. I'll be up there soon. Oh, no! What have I done? Wait a minute. Is she going to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Tiffany, no! Please! Oh! No! No, 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 no! No, no, Tiffany! Oh, there she is! Oh! No! No! Oh, this is sad! Why? Why did you have to do this? Tiffany, what am I gonna do? I need to get her a proper burial before I leave this place. Oh, this is so sad. <gasps> Don't worry, Tiffany. You're getting out of here. I'm getting you out of here away from that monster. <gasps> oh, now I'm carrying her. Oh, man, that was sad. Whew. Okay, Tiffany, I'm going to go and release the ropes and we can swim out of here. <gasps> oh, crap, Foxy, it's you. Oh, Mario's ticked. Yeah, she's finally dead. And cause of you, you caused her death. You're a monster keeping her here for so long. Having her think she's been here for two years. When it's been longer and her family is now gone because of you. As I said, I like to watch my prey suffer as long as I want. You're going to pay for this. I'm not leaving till you're sleeping with the fishies. Well, wow, that be a challenge, landlubber. Oh, crap, Nightmare Foxy! Uh-oh. Ah, oh, crap. I knew I should have killed you right there and then, you little fat Italian man. Oh. There has to be something I can do. The switches are connected to the floor. Maybe if I break the floor, Foxy can fall in and drown. 
You have to activate eight switches in order to sink the ship. Foxy is pretty fast, so you gotta run as fast as possible. Watch your health bar, and if it's empty, Foxy will kill you, so be careful! Oh, no! Okay, let's just see what happens if Foxy owns us. Gotta see the death scene, and then I'm taking him out. There you go. Oh! My heart! He ripped the heart right out of my chest! Holy crap! Game over. Game over. Now you can join Tiffany in hell. Oh! <laughs> All right, we're back. This time, oh, this time, we gotta go. We gotta find these switches. Wow, is he ever fast? Okay, good. Get this one. Hello? Go! No, no, no. There's eight switches. I got one. Okay, I gotta outrun him. There we go. I go over here. Oh, no, no, no. No. Go. No! No! Ouch! No. Go. Did he get stuck? He might have got stuck. Oh, good. 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 I think he's stuck. Screw you! Screw you, Foxy. Screw you! Yes? Good. Yes! That serves you right for hitting me! Okay, that's already done. Go. Go up here. Yes? Yes? Foxy, your time is coming to an end! There's another switch! Ba ba bam Yes. Yes. Avoid the fire. Okay, over here. Over here. Down. Foxy, don't get me. Don't get me. Yes? Perfect! Yes. Oh, we're getting close to Foxy now, aren't we? Oh, there's a the switch! That's all of them! That's all of them! You think I'm gonna let you get out of here? You're going to die, lad! And the last thing you will remember is you being responsible for her death! What the Davy Jones locker? Oh! Oh, we did it! We did it! Oh! Bye-bye, Foxy! Serves you right, you monster! Now you're going to hell along with the rest of your crew! I gotta get Tiffany out of here! What the? Tiffany's in the water! What? No! Oh! Tiffany! Oh, crap! I can't breathe! I feel like I'm gonna pass out! Oh! I'm waking up! Maybe oh. Tiffany's not dead! Where am I? Oh! I'm back here again! What? Oh! It's him again! Hello, Mario! It's been long, hasn't it? Oh, no! What happened to you? You did this to me! You made me angry! And this is what happens when I get angry! Hey! You gotta hide in better spots! It's not my fault you suck at hiding! <laughs> Shut up! Ooh. This time there won't be any more hiding. But you're gonna be the one that's hiding this time. Whoa. What do I do? There are eight areas to hide. You got 20 seconds to pick a spot to hide in. But be warned, you can't hide in the same spot you hid. You gotta hide five times from Plus Trap. Okay. Well, is this a hiding spot right here? Should I hide in there? Hide in the well. Where are you? Oh, oh, I made it. Okay, good. Now, okay, let's find something else. Oh, hide in the cave. Hide in the cave, yes. Where are you? Oh, oh. good. Good, good, good. What's this? Hide in the tree, sure, why not? Where are you? Oh. Good. So far, so good. Chest. I can't open it. I don't know the code. No idea about a code. Should I hide in here? Hide in the hole. Okay. Hide in the hole. Where are you? Okay, let's check this thing. Can we hide in here? Should I hide in the bush? Hide in the bush. Where are you? We did it. We did it. Okay. Oh. oh my insides feel like they're burning. What's happening to him? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. He got so mad, he blew up. He's dead. I think so. But there's a huge hole on the ground. Best not to think about it. I gotta get out of here as soon as possible. Oh, my God. Oh, that's it. Six o'clock. We made it through the night. Oh, my head. I'm waking up. 
That medicine got the better of me. This is going too far. I don't know what to do anymore. Oh, I'm out of bed. I'm gonna head downstairs, Luigi. Do you even have the energy to go anywhere? From the dream I had, yes. Uh oh, oh my God, Shadow Mario! He's coming out of me. Such a headache. Oh my God, I picked him up. What are you? He put me up over his head. Uh oh, let me go! Oh, oh, he threw me down the stairs. Oh, ah, oh, my legs. Mario, what happened? Did you fall down the stairs? Luigi, something attacked me. My legs are broken and and I... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Mario! Oh no, he passed out again. I gotta get him some help now! Oh, well, now the scene has switched to Lorenzo. Judge, Lorenzo, Mario, you have been caught of theft and vandalism and assault on a few civilians. What is your reply on these statements? I only did it for a good reason, Judge. I'm not gonna lie about it. I did it to save my dying mother, and people refused to help her when she needed her medicine. And it's the only thing keeping her going. But that is still no excuse to break the law, and you have broken a few of them, including attempted murder. <gasps> that was not my fault! You put two men in the hospital, young man, and they have families too. But since I pity you, the court is willing to let you pass if you apologize for your actions and pick trash in a few locations that need cleaning. Oh, that's not so bad. And you have to pay money for the damages and stuff you've stolen. For stealing multiple bottles of the root mushrooms medicine and stealing it from the two drug dealers you put in the hospital, you have to pay 30 million within this month. And if you don't, you'll be put in prison for 60 years. <gasps> what? He can't do that. He can't pay that. Now that's settled, you are free to return home. But you try to skip town, there will be a warrant out for you. You will be arrested. This is not fair. With how my life is going, it's going to be completely impossible for me to get that much money and try saving my mother. <gasps> Remove him from my presence, and the next time I see you, Lorenzo, you better have the right amount of money. Judge, you're being unreasonable. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is bad. So I see you're home, Lorenzo. It's jump, man. Oh. Listen, I'm sorry. Why couldn't you keep your darn mouth shut? I didn't want you to go down a dark path and do something you almost could have done. Plus, your life you were making for yourself was dangerous for anyone to be around. Even Mom. You keep her out of this. She's the one who told me. What? And she didn't even need to tell me because you made it so obvious. The days and nights you were out for so long. The amount of medicine you got and knowing how you can't keep a job. I knew you were dealing with dangerous stuff. Well, because of your curiosity and butting in, I have to collect $30 million. And if I don't, I'm gonna be put away for a long time. I'm sorry, but you messed up. And I don't want my kids around a criminal when they're older, Lorenzo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You act like I'm an entirely different person. Now a criminal, you say. I did this because I care about mother. You never care. You're always with your wife. Don't you dare say that! Oh, we pushed him! Oh my god, uh, I'm sorry, Lorenzo. I didn't mean to do that. It's just you said... My point proven. Fight him? Don't fight. Oh, no, don't fight. Don't fight him. Don't fight. Oh, man. Oh, the phone's ringing. What? Hello? Well, hello, Lorenzo. We would like to apologize about last time. Who is this? I am Mr. Afton. Uh-oh. William Afton, I heard one of my employees denied your application request. But since now that I looked at your records earlier today, you seem fitting for this business. I'd like to hire you. When will you be available? This is how he gets the job. That's the night guard. I'm available right now at this moment, sir. Good. I look forward to meeting you and working with you. Holy crap. Oh my god. 
And there we go, guys. That's the end of chapter three. Man, I felt so bad for Tiffany. And we learned some of the backstory of Lorenzo and how he got the security job at the pizzeria. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, consider joining the Taste Bud family for daily gameplay content. Join me back here next time once chapter four is released. Till then, as always, I'm your Canadian Ginger Taste. I love you guys. Bye-bye.